While the coral covering the ocean looks like an unchanging formation of rocks, it is actually home to one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. Climate change has led to an alteration of reefs that has had a profound effect on the ecosystem and led to the rise of another organism in its place, sponges. Sponges look like the coral that makes up such reefs, but their growth and replacement of coral is changing the biodiversity of the ecosystem. In this video, we are going to talk about the biological implications of coral reefs to sponge reefs. But before we discuss their importance, we need to define what exactly a coral reef is and how it differs from a sponge reef. Coral is comprised of two different types, hard coral, the structure of coral reefs, and soft coral, which grows off the hard coral and provides support for the organism. These two coral types compose the majority of the reefs you see when scuba diving or watching Blue Planet. Sponges, on the other hand, are simple, multicellular organisms that mimic coral and act as homes for the reef's inhabitants. Sponges, unlike coral, recycle nutrients in the water and are much more resilient to temperature changes. As our environment continues to change, coral reefs are slowly being replaced by sponge reefs. This has important biological implications for the coral reefs and the ocean ecosystem at large, including coral bleaching and deteriorating biodiversity. Healthy coral have a symbiotic relationship with the microscopic algae that live in their tissues. These algae are their primary food source and give them their color. But changes in ocean temperature are causing algae to leave the coral's tissue, and the loss of its major food source is resulting in bleached coral that is more susceptible to disease. In their place, sponges are becoming the new foundation for these changing ecosystems. So what are the implications of sponge proliferation in the place of coral? A study done on the Indo-Pacific reef system claims that reductions in environmental quality may favor sponge-dominated reefs, but that these reefs will likely be low-diversity systems, as they do not promote biodiversity in the same way coral does. Other evidence suggests sponges cause harm to coral themselves. In hopes of avoiding predators, sponges secrete an acidic fluid that often reacts with the coral reefs and causes structural issues that compromise its overall health. The rise of one and fall of another is producing negative effects, including a loss in the parity between the two organisms. Ecologist Jasper de Gauche says that while corals build the reef, sponges do, in part, break down reefs, and having a balance between those two is important. He continues that sponges could continue to take over the reef, and assuming they fail to promote biodiversity like coral do, could lead to a die-off in species. Other evidence, however, suggests that sponge proliferation has beneficial effects on the ecosystem. Firstly, sponges create nutrients for organisms by filtering bacteria into food that coral could not otherwise produce. Marine biologists at the University of Amsterdam found that sponges absorbed carbon and nitrogen from the water and converted it into filtering cells that line a sponge's interior walls. The sponges quickly shed those linings, which were then eaten by larger organisms. So is the rise of sponges amid falling coral numbers definitively good for the ecosystem? Well, it's not that simple. The question of good or bad is dependent on what is being measured. From some perspectives, sponge proliferation is good for organisms and vulnerable coral alike. Their ability to act as resilient habitats for organisms while creating food sources is inherently valuable as coral reefs deteriorate further. But the very resilience of sponges also means a rising disparity in coral and sponge numbers, and that difference can lead to coral reefs becoming overwhelmed. Ultimately, in a web as complex as an entire ecosystem, every small alteration has effects that can redefine the entirety of the ecosystem. So why should we care? While it may seem unimportant, the health of coral reefs worldwide is vital to our daily life. Much of the world's food comes from fishing that, with the collapse of coral reefs, could lead to drastic reductions in fish stocks. Coral reefs also have important medicinal implications. The chemical compounds that make up coral are used to treat diseases such as HIV, leukemia, and skin cancer, and some research shows that they could even be the key to drugs that cure Alzheimer's and heart disease. They even support local economies. Researchers at the Australian National University recently valued the ecosystem's total services and goods at upwards of $350 billion a year. And in Florida alone, they did more than 35,000 jobs and provided over $4 billion in state revenue. The biological implications of coral reefs to sponge reefs are vast. Their effects will not be felt only in the ocean, but across a wide range of industries in the coming years.